information getting to our table confirms the fact that Jube Jube's lookalike has been arrested in a drug raid. I mean, is it a coincidence or something more sinister? We'll be talking about that in today's video, so please do all to stay glued and do watch the video till the end. A drug raid turned into an unexpected viral sensation after a Nigerian woman arrested on drug-related charges sparked widespread chatter on social media. What grabbed people's attention wasn't just the raid itself but the woman's striking resemblance to the South African musician Job Job. Viewers couldn't believe their eyes and soon social media platforms were flooded with comparisons between the arrested woman and of course the music star. Job Job, whose real name is Molemo Marouane, is no stranger to the limelight. Known for his musical talent and controversial past, he has been a figure of fascination for many South Africans. From his chart-stopping hits to his well-documented legal issues, Job Job's face is easily recognizable. So when a televised drug raid featured a woman with an eerily similar appearance, it was no wonder that social media exploded with commentary. The incident took place during a televised raid led by Holani and his team who stormed the woman's home after receiving a tip off about her husband's drug trafficking activities. The discovery of drugs hidden inside the toilet led to her arrest, but it was her resemblance to Job Job that became the focus of the nation. This case raises some interesting questions about human nature and the way we perceive identity. I mean, doppelgangers or people who look alike but are unrelated have been a topic of intrigue for centuries. The concept suggests that everyone has at least one double somewhere in the world. In this case, the woman's resemblance to Job Job reignited debates on the nature of these lookalikes and how such similarities can influence public perception. I mean, the resemblance actually touched a, another issue, how appearances can influence a person's reputation. Why Job Job had no connection to the woman or the drug bust, the conversation quickly turned to his image, with many reflecting on how physical likeness can impact public discourse. Some online users questioned whether people's reactions would have been the same if the woman didn't resemble a well-known figure. Well, as the investigation continues, law enforcement remains focused on the drug trafficking operation, but for the public, the story has become about more than just crime. It's a conversation about identity, doppelgangers, and the role of social media in shaping narratives. Guys, do you believe doppelgangers or people who look alike actually do exist? How do you think public figures are affected by someone else having a similar appearance? Again, what do you think about the role of social media in shaping public perception of cases like this? Could this bizarre resemblance impact Jubu's reputation in any way? Please drop your thoughts in the comment section. I mean, in conclusion, the incident has left Nzanzi captivated, sparking debates and discussions about the mysterious connections between individuals. Whether this is just a bizarre coincidence or part of a larger conversation about human likeness, one thing is clear. The power of social media to turn an ordinary event into a national talking point is undeniable. Please drop your thoughts just down in the comment section.